Hello and welcome to the World of Madness. Today we are back on Halloween and a few things have been built, including what I'm standing on. Now we're going to take a bit of fall damage so we don't spoil that. And ta-da! being built. Uh, don't worry about that over there. I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do besides the main thing, building. But yeah, I've got this uh, built somewhat near the original idea was this diagonal slope with a bit sticking out on a counter slope. It kind of works. I feel it needs to be a lot bigger. I'm, I'm underestimating the scale again and I'm missing some blocks. So yeah, that's our top four. We just got a little balcony you can't get to with some uh, glass windows blocking that <laughs> go down I'm just feeling I feel like we need to convert this entire hi hillside into our house just need to get a figure out a nicer pattern for the sides it needs to have as of that well wow this is a big feel this kind of does it's just kind of small though to be fair it really is only an outpost this isn't our final house so uh, let's take you inside to show you that nothing's really here besides the main stairway which we have a pit down there so it goes up to the second floor this little theme here I would have done it to the third floor but there's not quite enough room over there as we go up to the second floor we get to see our window which is slightly out above might raise the floor not sure where things are going to go in here this may be our main room chests chests and crafting all lined up right below the window there storage in the walls see and up here I think it's going to be a bedroom bedroom get the nice view still yeah, but it's a low cramp for space for anything else so yeah there is outpost Charlie built um, we can jump down here the other one is better down here is just the basement found out I had a little underground spring below me after some mobs were making a lot of noise and a little natural cave that's being lit up just a short one and I see iron there <laughs> But today, what we're going to do is eat some chicken. Today is Halloween. And so, I heard that there is apparently some trick-or-treating going on at Spawn. Or, a single bit of trick-or-treating. So, middle of the day, we might be able to make it back to Spawn. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we don't have to sleep in Outpost Bravo. Do we take our bed? Nah. Let's go for it. So yeah, today is Halloween. Hopefully I'm, I might get this up tonight or not. We'll see. It's a bit late already. But, yeah. Didn't really have much to do to focus on today. Just wanted to get some more detail. Mm. <sighs> that, I'm going back. I think we're going to have a little bit of another jump cut here, and it's going to suddenly be sunny. I don't think we can sleep through the rain. That's annoying. Oh, we can! Rain oh shit, spider, 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 spider. Ooh! Didn't realize rain makes at night. That's an interesting feature. And there's a skelly out here, so I'm just going to go duck inside so we don't get killed. Because holy cow, there's mobs out there. That was unexpected. Glad they told me that when I joined the server. That rain makes at night. I guess it makes sense we can sleep through the rain, but geez. We are going to take the secret exit. If I figure to hit the right block. We're gonna true. probably no safer than the main exit but here we go we're gonna nope spider um, we're gonna get up to the top here and then figure out which way we need to start going I think we headed out east I think I think we head east positive X yeah spawns this way so learn something new about the server rain makes night Kind of handy, kind of not if you don't have a bed by you, but hopefully... To Wait. Is the sun setting? Why is this... 
I'm confused. That. Okay, they do something. They're doing something really weird with the <laughs> the time and the sleepy stuff with the command blocks that I don't know of. I guess when it rains, it goes to night, so that you can sleep through the rain. But then it, when you sleep, it turns it back to the middle of the day like you left it. Oh, jeez. You bugger. This is not good. My bed's kind of open out here, and there's a skelly hiding under a tree. And I don't have... I have a bow. I think it's in the chest. Let's, let's heal up and hope it doesn't get too dark before we get into our bed. We're going to try and block ourselves off. Screw it, get in the bed. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> oh, I should have broke the bed. Should have broke the bed. That was stupid. Um. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I see you there. I see you. Why are you drawing your bow? That's right. Put your bow down. Be disappointed. That's awesome. I didn't know they did that. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? Fire at the glass. What do you expect to hit? The wall. Ooh. <laughs> Don't glitch your bow through my wall. Well. I was doing so well at never having it night, and then that rain confused me so much. I guess we're going trick-or-treating later. This is not... Oh, crap. He's not going to burn there right now, is he? Well. Suppose... That we will be taking the secret exit tomorrow. That's where it is. I guess I'll see you guys after I go leave this for 10 minutes. Later. Alright, and the sound of that skeleton burning means it's daylight. We are going to try and make our escape away again. Hopefully there's nothing here when we pull out the secret exit. Alright. Let's close up. Get our weapon out. Drawn. Run. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's go. We're just gonna book it and hope there's nothing on the way. Spire doesn't care. Creeper probably does, but we are going to try and make our way back to spawn and see the trick-or-treat house. Bye, Creeper. So, what have we learned? Rain is dangerous. We need a bed at all bloody times. And that skeletons are still bloody overpowered. Or, the lack of blocking really makes that so. I think we need to make a shield. Though, we'll have to learn how to look up how to do that. But for this version, we're not running the current version yet. Uh, something something command blocks need updating something something. So, I completely forgot to keep the shears on me. So, if we find a sheep, oh well, it's going to stay there. Now, I don't know, last time I showed you guys I had a neighbor somewhere over here. Oh, well, fairly close. I think it's over on the right. I can't remember who it is right now. I remember it from the server tour, which I probably should upload and show you guys at some point. But I believe there's a castle over off in this direction. Now, I think we should just book it to spawn right now. We'll maybe on the way back I'll show you that. Because I don't trust the sunlight. Uh, let's make sure we're going the right way. Spawn's basically zero, zero, I think. I love these flowers. All the flowers everywhere. Though, sometimes I still like the old alpha, alpha textures and all that stuff. Just... The, the bright colors are nice, and some of the interesting textures. I do prefer the old cobble. Ooh, I actually, I think that looks familiar. I just wonder if we're going unintentionally towards the person's place while on our way back. Because we are going a really... we're not going the fast way back. I don't think. I think we're turning slightly to the right. So we do this. Though that feels backwards, so I'm not sure. But all I know is the coordinates are going down, and that's probably good. Nope, we're nowhere near them. 
Anyway, I think that if nothing exciting is going to happen here, we might just have to cut and you will see us when we get closer to spawn. Just passing by L plus Alpha. Completely skip Bravo. Bravo is a bit more that way. Keep, I'll keep seeing this every time I walk past here. Should make a monument to it. Make it a proper outpost, outpost. It's a mini base there. No, I didn't really have one. Anyway, that means we're almost at spawn. I guess you can follow us for the rest of the way here. Get rid of our coordinates. Eat some more chicken. And it should just be sprint to the spawn from here. Over this field. Should be an overhang from an extreme hills over there, I think. Let's be leave a trail. And I realize I have absolutely nothing to say right now. So, happy Halloween. Or November 1st, as you're probably going to see this. Or later. If I'm a bit lazy. <laughs> was busy, quite busy last week with schoolwork and all that stuff. Had to write a lot more paper, a lot of papers this semester. After going from writing almost none in the past few years. Yeah. That's a bit frustrating. Oh, there is Spawn. That house looks new. I wonder if that is the Halloween house there. Because I think Makashi's house is the, far, the first one on this side. I don't remember that being there. So let me just check on something. Yeah, there's a trick-or-treat house behind Makashi's, and I believe that is Makashi's house there. So let's go inspect this carefully. <laughs> Not sure, ooh, sure it's gonna happen. There's a button on the floor. Couple gravestones. Buttons everywhere. <laughs> There's a button inside an item frame. Some dispensers. Do we ring the doorbell? It's like nothing inside, it's so weird. They're all boarded up. And this odd forest that doesn't match any other forest. And I keep breaking <laughs> grass everywhere. Everywhere. So. so. House seems fine. I think we've got to go press the doorbell and see what happens. If we... It's a trick or trick. Let's go. Bit old for this. We're in our skin. <laughs> See if I can actually hit this button. <laughs> you can treat. Oh! Suck all the zombies and I. <laughs> Did I get the apple? I think I got that apple. <laughs> Where's the thunder strike? Man, a lot of people have here already, I think. I, I want to see that again, but I feel bad taking another apple. Let's just go... Let's try and see these guys. <laughs> the little armor stand zombies, that's awesome. Oh, it is an apple. <laughs> that is cool. Got a candy apple. We should eat that. If we if we were if we were actually hungry. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a really nice house. If it was a bit more brutal, I could have used that. <laughs> I like the design. That uh, kind of uh, vertical design there. Oh, that moves them too. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Do all these move? No. No, just that one. Was that lightning strike coincidental? Because I didn't hear it the second time. Okay, we'll steal one more apple. I'm assuming they have a lot. Oh! <laughs> it tried to kill me that time. Oh, no, no, there's lightning. So I guess it's random if it gives you an apple or shoots you? You know, I gotta try one more time. Oh. 
Oh! Okay, maybe we shouldn't have been doing that. <laughs> this is... I didn't think this out too well. <laughs> Just peeks at the insides here. Diamond. Quote marks. Holy cow. Oh, that would have been nice. Man. Whew. Um, I wonder if someone can save me if I don't have the break out of here. Um, one second. All right, broke our way out of there. <laughs> Figured it was easier than trying to wait for someone to come save me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I think everyone's asleep right now. It doesn't help being the only one, only one in Canada when they're all well. Not, I'm gonna say only one, but being one in Canada. Canada when everyone else seems to be in the UK. Let's go bother, follow, borrow Cashy's bed here <laughs> and just sleep out the night. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode than usual. More was well, interesting to check it out, out that Halloween house and showing off that Outpost Bravo is being mostly built. I think next time we'll probably try and do something interesting. May build build stuff get food, mine, we'll figure it out. Anyway, it's been Stretchers. Have a happy, spooky Halloween. You know it's going to be long over before you see it. Take care. Bye.